To test out Quasar's Ajax Bar component, we're going to have to make some requests. So let's open up the console and say yarn add Axios so that we can easily make some API requests. And then while that's installing, I'll say import Axios from Axios. Come down here, jump into our setup, make sure I spell that correctly. And then we can say const get to do's is equal to a function. And we're actually going to use an API that I created for the getting started to do app series, which by the way, you can check out at quasarcast.com if you're interested in checking that out. But anyway, let's say return axios.get https dot dot slash slash to do dash API dot quasarcast.com slash to do's. So this is basically an endpoint that's going to fetch us to do's. I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to give us nothing at all because we haven't created any, but it's a great way for us to test out an Ajax request. Cool. Now I can come down here and say return get to do's like so, and now we can actually use this function. Scrolling up, let's start using the Ajax component. Q dash Ajax dash bar, that's the name of the component. And it's literally all we have to do to start using it. Just use the component straight away. And now we can come in here and say Q dash button, give that a label equal to get to do's. And we'll say at click, get to do's. Save that, refresh the page here. And now let's see what happens when I click on get to do's. Now we go, we get this Ajax bar showing at the top. Really, really cool. So it's automatically going to hijack any Ajax requests that our application does and show a bar at the top. Super, super handy. And we virtually wrote no code. That's literally all we had to write to get that working. Now let's try styling it a little bit. First of all, we'll change the color equal to secondary. Save that, give it a go. And now we get a slightly different color there. Another thing we can do, of course, is change the size. So how about we say 22 pixels just to make it a bit more obvious. And there we go, we've got a much fatter Ajax bar. Now you might not want it on the top. So it turns out you can actually put it anywhere you like. You can put it on the bottom. You can put it on the right side, which is really cool. I've never actually seen this before, but nice to know that it's possible. And of course you can put it on the left side as well. So that's really, really cool. That's just about it for this video. There are other things we can do, like take control of the loader ourselves. And this is particularly useful if you want finer control over the Ajax bar. So check out the docs if you want that, but you're probably not going to need it. And so I'm not covering it in this video. And it's also worth mentioning that Quasar has a loading bar plugin that does pretty much everything that this component handles. It just does things slightly different. So rather than using a component here, it's using a plugin, just like a different way of doing things. So you might want to check that out if you plan on using a loading bar, or in this case, an Ajax bar in your application. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in another video.